welcome back to my channel my name is Tisa Tosilikwe and you're tuned into a safe space where we'll have hard conversations on life love and all things healing so in today's video like the title says we will be talking about what to do while you wait this has been something that has been eating at my heart for such a long time this year since this year has started when you know i was at a point or at a place where i was questioning god and you know i was just asking god that you know i've been praying for this one thing for so long and i'm so tired of referencing the scripture of you know um hope deferred makes the heart you know weak and all of those scriptures that are in the bible i want to know why it's taking so long for you to give me what you have promised it's not like i'm asking for something that you didn't tell me that you're going to bring my way i'm praying for something that you promised you know and god came to my aid you know sometimes um things happen that make you lose hope and i, I speak about this in my video that i in, in the video that i did concerning uh, my suicide attempts if you want to watch that i'll put it up here um but there are things that happen that you know taint the process of waiting um the thing there are things that we get ourselves involved in that taint this process of waiting and something that we really shy away from is the fact that there is a waiting period between you know the, the seed and, and and the fruit you know um, and what you do between the seed and the fruit um, determines the kind of fruit that the seed will yield you know um, sometimes we expect to to, to plant a seed um, uh, an apple seed for a lack of a better example and and we expect that apple seed to breed um, bananas you know um, or vegetable some sort of vegetable when there's a seed there's a particular seed that we have planted and this particular seed needs you know um, a certain way to be nurtured to be watered for it to grow to be its optimal best or to be the fruit that we desire and um, God took me back to a place where uh, when I was questioning you know a lot of things it's just like ah you promised me this thing you know like i said it's not something that i i desire because of my 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 own you know personal likes or wants but it's something that you have promised and i've it's taken me so many years and i am still not seeing you know the 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 promise i'm still not seeing it come to pass you know and here i am um, in a place where everything feels like it's falling apart yet I, I, I just have the promise that you said this is what will happen and this is what you're going to cause to happen and he brought me back to a place and he was said to me he, he said to me um, the meditations of your heart contradict the confessions of your mouth um, so basically we get to a point in our walk where what we are sowing in prayer what we are conceiving in prayer we are bought in the words that we speak while we wait for the seed to germinate while we wait for the fruit to 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 be you know um and i found it so true and i'll give you an example of something that you know i went through um a while back when i was asking god for a particular thing i was i i prayed i was i was i was fasting i was you know i was i was trusting god for this thing to happen and not because it was a desire a, a personal desire or a personal want or need but because he he had promised me this thing but the thing is what i was saying to him in my private time didn't match what I was saying to other people so I'm the type of person who um, I kind of want to shield myself from disappointment so I will say stuff like ah oh, no I don't want this or ah oh, no even if I don't get it it doesn't matter but deep down I know that I want it I'll give you an example of when I was still um, looking for a job and I got an interview offer from a, a company that I absolutely wanted to work for. I, I, I 
everybody knew in my circle well not everybody people who were in my inner circle knew i wanted to work for this particular company when i went i remember back then um i, I, I was telling a close friend of mine that dude um this is what i want this is it like i really want this we prayed we thanked god in advance for it um it was amazing right but the minute I removed myself or I stepped away from my place of devotion and my place of, of confession, you know, uh, uh, my secret confessions with God, I, I turned like my, cha my, my speech about this thing changed. I started, you know, shielding myself from disappointment that, you know, should the interview not go well? Well, actually this thing started after I went to the interview. I went to the interview, I was confident about it, but you know, so that people don't um, um, feel sorry for me, should I not get the job? I would tell them, oh, you know, oh, I'm not, I don't really want it anymore. Like I went to the interview and I realized that I don't really want it, but deep down I knew this is what I want. Deep down I knew that this is exactly what I need for my growth and for where I am, you know? Um, and but then when i went to sleep i tell god god i want this thing so much and i wake up i turn to the next person i'm just like ah, ah even if it doesn't happen it doesn't matter you know but it matters and that's this is exactly what god was saying to me concerning the waiting period that you know the confessions of of your mouth contradict you know the the the, the meditations of your heart you know the meditations your desires are contradicting i mean your your speech your 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 tongue contradicts what your desires are it contradicts what you say to god in your secret place and i think that's what prolongs the waiting period because in that moment we are not feeding the seed that we have planted with with what it's supposed to uh, um with what will help it grow you know um there's certain ways or certain um, um amounts of water that you you pour into certain seeds that you've planted for it to grow to what you want it to be and if you are not um if you're not conscious of what you do while you wait your waiting period might grow might be um, 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 um be prolonged you know we look at the story of the israelites when they were you know um when moses took them from egypt um you know um, it took them 40 years for something that would have happened quicker because of the complaints that happened that disbelief that disbelief that you know they somehow you know incurred during that waiting period and it prolonged something that could have happened so quickly you know something that could have happened within a blink of an eye might take you longer because of the confessions that you are allowing to spew out of you or, or of your your mouth and what you meditate on doesn't um doesn't what did that doesn't match what you are actually trusting god for so this is all i want I, I wanted to share um um for this for this week as we're going into a new week i'm just like for whoever feels like they've been waiting for too long they've been trusting god for a certain thing search yourself check yourself what um um, um are you saying you know during this waiting period what are you are you thinking during this waiting period you know um are you really um listening in your asking in your private time when you you are trusting and asking god for this particular thing are you are you also listening to what god is actually trying to say about the waiting period about this thing that you are desiring you know um we need to come to a point as a people and as a people of god where our desires um, um we don't mind letting go of our desires if it's not what god desires you know and that is also one thing that i'm also learning that even though it's a promise that um, um i know that comes from god i need to know god's heart concerning it so that my meditations in my waiting do not contaminate the seed or do not contaminate the promise because I can I can refute I can cancel things with my mouth with my mind sometimes we think just because we don't say it but we continuously meditate on it it doesn't affect the waiting period but it does so I just wanted to come out here and encourage someone who's been waiting to go back and look at what or how they are 
uh, are walking in this waiting period what are you doing in this waiting period what are you saying remove yourself from the group of people that force you to want to uh, uh, say things that cancel out what you are hoping for you know um, um, get to a point where everything that you do the association that you you find yourself in helps you nurture the seed that you have planted it helps you you know um, um, believe for what God has promised you know um, sometimes we take it so lightly that the association that we keep corrupts could corrupt you know uh, um, the seed that that God has entrusted us with you know so um think about that during this week I, I am going to share a, a video about you know cutting people off and all of that and what God has placed in my heart but while we wait for that video I feel like um, we need to be aware conscious of what we do while we wait so yeah that's all i wanted to say it's not a, a long video but before we close this video i want to just leave you guys with a scripture that um actually just you know stuck in my head this morning and it says that i will wait this is from psalm 130 verse 5 it says i will wait for the lord my whole being waits and in his word i put my hope and i was stuck on the fact that it is in his word then that we hold on that it's 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 rather it it is his word that helps us to hold on to this hope without his word then we will then come with our own words with our own meditations that this hope will not hold on to you get what i mean um um hope hope thrives on god's word hope um um it, it thrives because it, it understands and it believes god's word so anything outside of god's word cannot keep the hope so meaning that you can't even hold on to this hope you know so while we wait while our whole being it says the scripture says my whole being waits for the lord it says uh, it, it speaks about our minds wait for the lord our speech waits for the lord you 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 are so focused on this thing that god is bringing in your life that nothing that you do nothing that you say nothing that you think about contradicts it so you know um be mindful of what you say what you do what you think about in your waiting period and watch god do it for you before that time that you have expected him to do it for you so yeah my name is Tisa Tosilego. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share my videos with people that need their encouragement. 